Let's talk, Tanya, for the sixth of Teves of a leap year. In yesterday's Tanya, we started talking about the garments of the animal soul, the way the animal soul expresses itself. And we explained that the garments of the animal soul are also thought, speech, and action, just like the garments of the godly soul are thought, speech, and action. The difference being that the garments of the godly soul are thought, speech, and action of Torah and mitzvahs. The garments of the animal soul are thought, speech, and action of any, any, anything that is not a mitzvah or anything that is not done with a godly intent. So any thought that we have, any words that we say, or any action that we take, which is not a mitzvah, and not done consciously with a godly intent, that is an expression of the animal soul. To understand this a little better, we need to go back to our discussion much earlier when we talked about the substance of the animal soul. We said the substance of the animal soul is klipa. What is klipa? So another name that klipa is called by in, uh, the, in, in, in the works of Kabbalah is sitra achra. Sitra achra means the other side. And that name is very instructive because it tells us that if we want to understand what klipa is, klipa is uh, the forces of unholiness, anything which is the other side, anything which is not kedusha, which is not holiness, is automatically is klipa because it is the other side. So you can say that klipa is not defined by what it is, but it is defined by what it isn't. It isn't holiness. It's anything other than holiness. So therefore, to understand what klipa is, we need to understand what holiness is. You know, holiness is a word, we say, we, we, we say the word a lot, especially as Jews, but what does holiness mean? The word holiness means transparency. When something is transparent to its truth, it is holy. The opposite of that is klipa. What does the word klipa mean? The word klipa literally translates as a shell or a husk, which means something which is not transparent. There's some sort of perversion going on. It's not expressing what it really is. Or to put it in different words, klipa is a lie. Not klipa lies. Klipa is a lie. The definition of klipa is something which presents itself as something other than what it really is. Holiness is something which is transparent to its essential reality. The essential reality of everything is that everything is an extension of God, and everything is here with a purpose, with a godly purpose. And when something is transparent to that truth, it is holy. So a Torah scroll is holy because it doesn't proclaim itself as anything other than being God's wisdom. But a table or a chair is not holy because you look at it and it doesn't tell you, I am here and I was created so that you should sit on me to serve God or they should put a, a, a holy book on me to serve God. It's not, it's not transparent to its truth. Its truth is hidden. And the same thing is when it comes to an action. Um, so when you're lighting Shabbos candles, putting up a mezuzah, so that act is transparent. It is an act which is transparently there to serve God, to do a mitzvah. But when you're doing your laundry or when you're going for a walk for exercise, there might be nothing wrong with it. Or you're eating um, whatever it may be. But that's klipa because it is not transparent. Or to put it in somewhat different words, whenever something senses a sense of identity, a sense of ego separate from God, there is me, I am, I am important, and it, I am about myself and not about God, that is klipa. Is it bad? Maybe not by the definition that we'd give bad in conventional terms, but it is not holiness. The animal soul is klipa, meaning... It is, there is this shell which, which makes that it should not be holy, should not be transparent, and therefore it is self-centered and self-oriented, which isn't really true because really nothing is self-centered or self-oriented. Really everything is about serving God, and everything was put, put here by God in order to uh, serve a divine service, a divine purpose, including, by the way, the animal soul. And therefore, what is the agenda of the, godly, of the animal soul? How does it express itself in any action which is not transparent to God? not transparent to holiness. So the expressions of the animal soul are any action which is not a mitzvah or not done with a holy intent. In tomorrow's Tanya, we're going to find out that although that any action which is not done with a godly intent or any object, by the way, which, um, which hides its godly purpose is considered klipa, but not all klipa is created equal, we'll find out that the two different categories in klipa Come back tomorrow for Let's Talk Tanya for a discussion on that topic.